Hey there, it's Debbie Chibi here. Welcome to my review of All Is Fair In Love. Demi and Kola are best friends and successful business partners in their fashion business. But as their business drive, they run into financial need. Beyond the glitz and the glamour, the Financial Crime Commission, the FCC, is in a relentless hunt for a notorious money laundering kingpin known as Chief, whose web of illicit activities stretches across Africa. One evening, Kola goes to the bar where he meets Mbali and they heat up instantly and decides to drive a bite together. However, Mbali leaves hurriedly before Kola can get her number. Days later, Demi encounters Mbali at a coffee shop. She seems captivating and casually suggests a solution to the financial hiccup Demi's business was facing, and then she hurriedly leaves again. As Demi and Kola push forward with their plans to break into the international market, they enlist the help of consultants. One of the consultants turns out to be Mbali, of which her business acumen is striking and impressive, and she gives them her business card before leaving. As scenes unfold, Mbali starts to date both Kola and Demi in secret without them knowing each other's involvement in her life. Her plan is to maintain secrecy until they sign the deal with the investors. And so one day, Demi decides to surprise Mbali at her apartment only to find Kola there. Betrayed and furious, Demi storms out with Kola following suit equally enraged. And on getting home, they find the FCC at their house who reveals to them that Mbali and the investors are working for Chief in a money laundering scheme and plans to use their fashion business to launder money. A film directed by Kayode Kasum. So here is my review of All is Fair in Love, capturing the strength and the flaws. So now let's break it down, starting with the strength. All is Fair in Love is an engaging and visually appealing thriller that blends the world of fashion and crime. It has an intriguing plot because the intertwining of a fashion business and the criminal underworld is a fresh and original plot device. It showcases how people launder money through businesses and how certain businesses get trapped through scheming investments. The depiction of the Nigerian fashion industry enriches the film's beauty, adding a rich cultural backdrop and vibrancy to the narrative. I like how the African content was expertly sold in the movie, mentioning Afrobeat and Nollywood as an art that stands out in Africa. The narrative maintains a good pace with um, suspense building up effectively and um, Mbali's dual dating and her involvement with Chief adds intrigue to the movie. And then the final revelation of the FCC and the plan to use Demi and Kola as a bait is a climax that sets the stage for a dramatic resolution. The characters are brilliantly portrayed with each actor delivering a stellar performance that draws you into their world. From Demi and Kola, the handsome, sexy, single and ambitious fashion designers, to Umbali, enigmatic and manipulative, intelligent and charming on the surface, but with a hidden agenda that links to Chief. Not to forget Rashid. Rashid brilliantly portrayed that staff who is always frustrated at work as Kola was always frustrating him with change of designs. You know, I cannot get over his performance here where um, his frustration was written all over him down to the tone of his voice. You know, this part came with all the realness. Now that was all for the strength. Now over to the flaws. Talking about characters, some part of um, Tamuna's dialogue felt a bit forced and was dragging. The love triangle involving Mbali, Demi and Kola was predictable to me. I knew the two guys would fall in love with Mbali. I mean, who wouldn't know from the title of the film, you will know that something was coming, something like this was coming. And then Demi and Kola dating Mbali without any of them realizing it is um, it somehow dragged the story's credibility. You know, two guys living in the same apartment, in the same workspace, you know? It somehow dragged the story's credibility. So about the intrigue, yeah, there was intrigue, but it wasn't so intriguing to me because I already guessed 
Bali's motive. I knew that her motives were fishy, you know, though she came with this charm and charisma, but I just knew that something was fishy. So it wasn't so intriguing to me because I guessed right. Overall, all this fair in love is what it is. So was it worth my time? Yes. Was it worth my data? Yes. Did I enjoy it? Yes. I liked how the movie ended. You know, assuming Mbali picked one person, assuming she picked Demi over Kola or Kola over Demi, I would have thrown my phone at her. I would even throw my phone at the producer and the director for spoiling such a beautiful movie at the end. You know, I just like how it ended. It ended with the suspense continues. Figure it out yourself. So that's all for all the sparing love subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed like this video share your thoughts about this movie all right guys until next time keep watching my channel bye